Well, it was a very hard night for Kerch and a very difficult morning right now. Um, the investigation was going on through the whole night here at the college. You can see it behind my back where the tragedy happened yesterday. And so uh, the investigative authorities were working through the whole night. This place was blocked. There was no access. We saw cars moving back and forth. And there was another process, the body identification process going on. And we were then and saw those relatives and friends waiting. And it was obvious they were going through hell just waiting for their turn to figure out what has happened. And people were bringing flowers here uh, and toys and candles to the college. And all of those whom we spoke with, those uh, local citizens of Kerch, they take this personally, even though their relatives or friends were not touched. Let's take a listen and see what I've heard last night. Мы здесь потеряли наших детей. Мы здесь потеряли наших близких. We've lost our children, members of our families, the whole city, the whole country are grieving. They are all our children. It's our Russia. And what happened now is a very big loss for all of our Kerch. I believe that there are no other people's children, and every mother, every person will understand and accept his grief. This is a great loss. Well, there we go. We heard from a vi uh, witness there to the events in Kerch. Uh, Galina, if we turn uh, to the investigation, who is going to be leading uh, that investigation? Of course, in normal political uh, implications. Uh, this uh, tragedy is controlled as the highest level in Russia. Yesterday, Vladimir Putin ordered all the investigative authorities to investigate this uh, case and to find out what has happened. Uh, so the investigative committee is working, the Federal Security Service is working here, and we know that first uh, this uh, tragedy was qualified as a terrorist attack, but very soon there were reports that it was just one uh, scholar who did it, and many locals actually here are doubting it. They think that it was was a terrorist attack and I've spoken to a witness, witness a boy uh, who survived yesterday because he just went out to smoke and he said that there were two explosions.